Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video, we are going to understand some configuration of router and switch like a real time. Today in this video, you will understand how to configure inter VLAN routing with DHCP like a real time. In real time, I have configured so many times this protocol in network and today I am going to make you understand a step by step configuration of this. So in simulation software or to practice, uh, we configure inter VLAN routing directly by running command interface f0 slash 0 dot 10 IP address is this one submit mask is this one encapsulation protocol is this dot 1q or ISL but when we configure this in real time then our configuration is little bit different so please consider this configuration as like you are configuring inter VLAN routing and DHCP in real time in a company okay so without wasting our time let's begin first of all our main objective is to configure inter VLAN routing and DHCP as you can see I have three VLAN VLAN 10 where I am using subnet 192.168.10.0 and name of this VLAN is HR VLAN VLAN 20 is cell VLAN and here I am using network 192.168.20.0 in VLAN 30 name is head and I am using network 192.168.30.0 slash 24 okay so first of all I will configure router R1 and then I will configure switch by default there is nothing on uh, there is no any configuration on router these are the default configuration okay first of all how to configure the first of all you should configure host name on devices in real time host name is r1 like this after that we need to configure some password like enable password or line vty password line console password and banner so let me configure one banner over here as you know to configure banner command is very simple banner MOTD after that you need to use one special character and then we can say this is a router and we will end with same character like this is how we configure the banner then enable password let's say enable password is Cisco one two three we have configure host name enable password password cisco123 we have configured the host name we have configured the banner we have configured the enable password and we need to encrypt the password so we can run command service password encryption this command to encrypt all password then if you want to configure the line console password line console 0 and password is again Cisco 123 let's say and login like this you can configure the password on router after that I am going to configure the inter VLAN routing so interface F0 slash 0 first of all here you will run command no shutdown only no shut and here we can uh, define the description in real time we always configure description on the interface so here I am going to configure the description and description is this interface connected to connected to switch or we can say connected to L2 switch layer 2 switch like this we can configure the description after that no set I have already run I think no set command exit then interface f0 slash 0 dot 10 as you know to configure inter vlan routing we can we configure inter vlan routing like this interface f0 slash 0 dot 10 this is my virtual interface and here i am going to define one description so description and this interface is connected to connected to vlan 10 like this after that encapsulation encapsulation protocol so encapsulation protocol is let's say dot 1q for which VLAN for VLAN number 10 do same thing for rest VLAN for VLAN 20 interface f0 slash 0 dot 20 description is uh, connected to connected to VLAN 20 after that encapsulation encapsulation protocol is encapsulation protocol is dot 1q for VLAN 20 
and here I think I have not defined the IP address so I can define IP address later as well first of all let me configure the interface 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 f0 slash 0 dot 30 description connected to VLAN 30 30 and then encapsulation encapsulation dot 1q for VLAN 30 like this we configure or you know inter VLAN routing in real time now I am going to define the IP address to each interface each virtual interface so interface f0 slash 0 dot 10 here IP address is here IP address is let's say 192.168.10.1 submit mask 255.255.255.0 exit interface f0 slash 0 dot 20 IP address is 20.192.168.20.1255.255.255.0 exit interface f0 slash 0 dot 30 sorry interface f0 slash 0 dot 30 and here IP address is 192.168.30.1255.255.255.0 Done. I have configured the IP address on all virtual interface on all sub interface. So IP interface brief exclude unassigned. We can verify by running this command. You can see on this interface I am running IP 10.1. Here I am running 20.1. Here I am running 30.1. 192.168.30.1. So this is the configuration, basic configuration of R1. Now copy running configuration to startup configuration. I have saved the configuration of router. Now I need to configure switch. Here I will configure DSCP later. Before that let me configure switch right this is how we configure router like these things on router in real time exactly same okay now let me take access of switch so here I have switch on the switch I am going to do one thing VLAN after that directly we can say what here here we can directly say VLAN database VLAN after that VLAN number sorry VLAN number 10 and then to create VLAN 10 you need to exit from here but before that I am going to define the name name is HR done exit then VLAN 20 name age cell exit I have created VLAN 10 VLAN 20 and VLAN 30 name is head exit I have created three number of VLAN over here if you want to verify do so VLAN brief you can run this command so VLAN 10 is there name is HR VLAN 20 is there name is sale VLAN 30 is there name is head right now we need to define some uh, interfaces in VLAN 10 20 and 30 so let me do that before that let me configure interface e 0 slash 0 and this interface is as you know this interface should be configured as trunk so switch port trunk encapsulation protocol let me define the encapsulation protocol dot 1q over here and then switch port mode trunk I have configured the trunk link as well now do so interface trunk you can verify it. you can see uh, e0 slash 0 ethernet it yet 0 slash 0 is configured as trunk and a lot vlan you can see vlan 124094 done so we have configured the trunk now i am going to define interfaces in particular vlan interface e1 slash 0 is in vlan 10 so first of all we will configure description over here and on 0 slash 0 also you should configure description interface e 0 slash 0 description connected to 
connected to router because in real time topology is not visible topology will be not visible to you so you need to configure description everywhere after that interface e1 slash 0 here description will be connected to connected to pc1 or we can say what connected to vlan 10 connected to vlan 10 after that switch port access vlan 10 i have defined this interface in vlan 10 after that interface e1 as 1 and description connected to connected to vlan 20 and switch port access vlan 20 exit interface e1 slash 2 description connected to vlan 30 and switch port access vlan 30 done now you can run command so vlan brief over here to verify now you can see the vlan 10 and eth 1 slash 0 is member of vlan 10 this interface is member of vlan 20 this interface is member of vlan 30 and so interface trunk this interface is configured as trunk eth 0 0 now lastly i am going to configure dhcp on router so let me take you to router number one here what i am going to do config t after that you can run command service dhcp and dhcp then you need to create one pool so ip dhcp pool and here i can define pool name is let's say vlan 10 i've defined pool name vlan 10 and then here we can define the network network is network 192.168.10.0 mask is 255.255.255.0 and default gateway also we need to define so default router is 192.168.10.1 and if you want to define the dns server ip address you can define the dns server ip address also let's say 8.8.8.8 it and we need to do same thing for all vlan for vlan 20 also for vlan 30 also for vlan for, for, uh, 10 20 and 30 not 40 right after that ip pool dscp service service dhcp after that service dhcp and then put question mark there is nothing okay now ip dhcp pool pool name is vlan here i am going to configure the pool for vlan 20 here i am going to say network 192.168.20.0 submit mask 255.255.255.0 and default router is 192.168.20.1 and dns server ip address is 8.8.8.8 done exit service dscp okay ip dscp pool for which vlan for vlan 30 so let me give name vlan 30 over here vlan 30 and then network 192.168.30.0 submit mask 255.255.255.0 and uh, default router is 192.168.10. sorry 30.1 and dns server ip address is 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. that's it if you want to exclude any ip address so you can exclude by running command ip dhcp exclude leave now i have configured the dhcp as well now let me check that these pcs are able to get ip address or not see this pc pc1 is member of vlan 10 so it will forward traffic to switch switch will receive it on 
ETH 1 slash 0 and ETH 1 slash 0 is member of VLAN 10. So it will forward the traffic from the trunk link and it will add tag number what 10. So when router will receive it, it will receive with tag number what 10. Let me say IP auto over here. No router. Oh, this is for IPv6. This this configuration is for IPv6, right? Auto IP auto. If this router need IPv6 address automatically, then we configure IP auto. Here we need to say IP DHCP. It will get IP address from the DHCP server. Dora. It is go. It it will perform Dora process. So Dora is done and this machine have got one IP address 192.168.10.2 and gateway is 192.168.10.10 or you can run command so as well to check the IP address done like this all PC can get IP address let me show you let me click to PC number 2 and here also I am going to say take IP address from DHCP so IP DHCP this machine will also get one IP address from the DSCP server and it should get IP address from 20 network. 192.168.20.2 is the IP address of this PC. So DSCP is working fine, right? VLAN 10 users are getting IP address from 192.168.10.0 network. VLAN 20 users are getting IP address from 192.168.20.0 network. And PC number 3. PC number 3 is in VLAN 30, so it should get IP address from 192.168.30.0 network. IP DHCP. So this machine have got IP address from this submit. You can see 192.168.30.2 is the IP address okay guys so this is how we configure inter VLAN routing and DHCP in real time guys if you have learned anything from this video please hit on like button if you have not subscribed this channel please subscribe this channel we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye